everybody welcome back to rich and bella crafts which are here i hope you're all well so today is day 71 of our um 100 days challenge oh my gosh i can't believe i'm saying that already we've really been at this for 71 days <laughs> the time is flying by we must be having fun okay so what i'm going to do today is to show you how to make an envelope stack now there are two different ways of doing this you can make your envelope stack and then you can decorate it up and make it completely stunning and shabby chic and gorgeous and perhaps send it to somebody as a gift or um pop it on the shelf in your um craft room or whatever and use it as a bit of a a kind of decorative piece or you can make one in such a way that it includes lots of basically hidden um journaling spots so um i have previously done one where i've decorated it all up and made it look really shabbylicious and i gave it to bella as a gift um i will link to that video down below if you would like to see how to decorate it like that um but for today i'm going to show you the version in which we are actually able to write in them so obviously the reason you can't write in the other ones very well is because there's loads of things stuck on there um but today we're going to try and keep this project quite flat not only that but you will also then be able to include it into a journal in fact you could even stick it onto a journal page if you wish to so what you will need is a variety of envelopes in different sizes now i am obviously using um we'll start again uh, envelopes from the um the kits that we've been working on because these are what are left over and they're in my uh, my ephemera folder um but you can do this with any type of envelope so that's why i have in front of me here different types different styles and shapes and sizes oh look okay, i've got two different shapes and sizes or maybe three um but just to give you an example basically once you assemble once i've assembled my envelopes um they're no different to any other envelope so you know an envelope is an envelope you can use any type of envelope you want the most important thing actually is the flap of the envelope okay so you need to make sure that it's just got a decent flap on there um but again the size of that doesn't matter it doesn't matter if it's big it doesn't matter if it's any weeny teeny little flap okay so i'm going to just really quickly pop my um envelopes together because obviously i just wanted you to see the shapes that i have got um here flat let me just glue down there as well wonderful wonderful excellent oh that was short-sighted of you rachel right okay so that's that one put together um now this type here i do believe we literally just have to uh, glue down the side there and then okay so we are going to glue some of the envelopes together and some of them will remain unglued so the ones that i have glued are this one here and this one here because that is the base um this one i am leaving unglued and we will see why in a moment these two here i am leaving unglued although i did actually glue them by mistake and then remembered what i was doing um this one here is glued and then the top one is not glued so they're my different sizes i'm working with two teeny weeny ones two smaller ones medium and then up to large okay right so let's get started and i just hope to goodness that this works out right so um we've got our lovely big one here i just wonder if i've got a page to kind of show how we can um so obviously your journal you've got your journal this is your page um, you could place your you could place this onto your page if you wanted to. Now, if you wanted to pop it onto the page, you would simply start by affixing the bottom um, flap here to the page. So just while I'm building this, imagine obviously that we're not doing this, you know, that it is on a page. But it doesn't have to be. Obviously, if you're doing the other version where you just want to dress it up, obviously it's not going to be attached to anything. So you'll just leave that open and you'll be able to put something in there. Okay, so we're going to take then your next largest envelope. And we are going to affix the flap and we're going to pop it on in that kind of an angle there. Now, the only thing that I'm going to just point out is all of these envelopes, when they get placed onto the next one, always make sure that the top corners don't protrude past this here. Because if that is any higher, that is not going to open. Okay? Because obviously the idea is that it's going to 
flip up open like that. But if it's any higher than that, it won't work. All right. Now, if you're a little unsure what you're doing, what you can do, and this is a little tip for you. I remember doing this the first time I did mine. So let's do it together like this this time. You can actually just washi tape them all into place to start off with till you're absolutely certain where you want them to be. And then at least then with the washi tape, you know, it's not going to kind of, um, you know, if you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. You can move it then, can't you? So let's do that first, shall we? And then you can see then how um, we can position them. So this one here, then again, at a slight angle, but just make sure that neither of the corners pop over the top of the envelope that it's being affixed to. So there's that one there, because if you have things that start being stuck, that start sticking out, they're not going to work like that then, are they? So everything seems to be good so far. Um, oh, I don't know why I keep just dropping my washi tape down rather than keeping a handle on the end. Yeah, stick on there a moment. Right, so the next one now, now this is an unstuck envelope. So I'm going to pop this here like so. Again, making sure I'm not protruding. There we go. And then just pop that back down there like that. And then the next one, oops, stick. I'm going to pop this one here. So it doesn't matter if we come a little lower. That's fine. So stick that there. Very nice. And then we've got this one here then, which will stick in place, I hope. Hope the so I'm just going to test that out now and just make sure that everything can open up. So, yes, that can open, and we can pop something into this little pocket here because I'm just thinking we could put little fussy cuts or something in there, couldn't we? Um, or a really teeny tiny note, and then this one here will open, and you'll be able to journal on here, like so. And then this one here will open, and you'll be able to journal here, like so. Oops. And then this one here will open and you'll be able to journal here like so. Oh, I bet that'd be really cool to write down the sides of the envelope flap as well. And then the last two remaining then, I have stuck those closed, but you could have those open and do exactly the same thing again. So you see what I'm trying to, the effect I'm trying to achieve here. But I just thought it'd be nice to be able to pop something in there. And then of course, the very final envelope which is this one here. And then again, you'll be able to pop a note in there or you could have that flap open as well. So they all open perfectly fine. Now what I'm gonna do with the last envelope is I'm going to pop it on, try and get this central if I can now, but obviously I have to watch that my corner is lower. What if I can pop it maybe like the, does that look in the middle there? Pretty in the middle to me. Um, now this one we'll have to put a bit double back on. We just make sure, and then we can glue it all, which is the fun bit, isn't it? Right. So let's just plonk that on there a second. Okay, that looks good. And then, yeah, I can still get in there, and I can still pop something in there. So that's perfect. And then this one will open completely, and you'll be able to write then in the centre of that journal there journal envelope even but how cute does that look and we haven't even decorated it yet i love it i love a little stack of envelopes like that okay so first things first let's get them all stuck on and then we can look at um adding a little bit of decoration not too much because like i say we want to be able to write on the back of them but, but just a little bit and then we need to put a little closure then onto the front of this one here and i'm thinking for that we'll come back to them in a minute but anyway right, let's get these stuck down a second so, keeping that in exactly where it was just now, I'm going to just stick that in place and stick that in place and literally lift up my flap and then glue it down. There we go. Now, 
Now, obviously, I always think of these brilliant ideas after I've stuck something. If it had a bit more forethought, I could have just stuck that there and there, and we could have had a nice little hidden tuck spot under there. But never mind. So there's one for you to bear in mind. When you're sticking that bottom flap down, you could always um, leave that as a little tuck spot. Right, so number two now. Let's just get this washi tape off without any issue or disasters. And then let's just tape that there in position. Let's lift this flap. And then we're going to glue this one down. Lovely, lovely. And then... <sighs> it's always a relief, isn't it, when the washi tape comes up and it doesn't tear the paper. I think it is anyway. And then this one here. We're just going to tape this envelope into position. And then we're going to glue on the flap. Marvellous. There we go. Perfect. Take that off. Lovely. And then this one. Same again. Fold him over. Pop the tape. I just find this a really handy way to do this because, like I say, now just bear in mind with this one, this one is hanging off, so I'm not going to be gluing the whole flap here, only what comes into contact with the actual envelope underneath okay because if i glue it all the way down they're not gonna be open, able to open this one up am i so just watch out for that guys there we are excellent that's fine just want to make sure that stayed in place um yeah no i do find this quite handy because there's nothing worse than when you start glue in them on and then you've got your position right and then everything starts to move so a little bit of washi tape just make sure everything stays in place and again the same with this one my on um, my flap is half hanging off there so i'm not going to glue the whole thing just the bits that are in contact here and i'm just going to lift that carefully to make sure that i'm not got any Blue seepage there. Let's take that off. There we go. Wonderful. And then last, but by no means least, let's just pop our final piece on. I made a mistake by there, didn't I? Here we are. Right, lovely. How cute is that? Oh, I love it. I love it. That's brilliant. And there were all those little writing spots. And no one would ever know that they were there. There we go, look. And then you can pop a letter or something in here. And something else in there. Marvellous. Now, let's decorate in a non-bulky way. Well, obviously, obviously, we're going to have to put a little bit of lace on there because we're working with shabby chic, aren't we? So let me just grab down. I want some of this lovely periwinkle blue because I think that would be nice on there. Um, I'm going to grab down my bird catcher and let's see what lace we've got in here today. Um, I say that like it gets refilled in the night, but the fairies, it really doesn't. I've got lots of little scrappy bits in here like this. So these might be ideal. <coughs> That might be quite nice on the bottom there, look. So when you're folding it down, I'm thinking, you see, if we do a bit of layer layering with the lace, like so, and it'll add a little bit of interest, but not too much bulk. Because we don't want any bulk, you see, we don't want any bulk, no. And then perhaps then we'll pop a bit on there. Right, let's start with that then. 
do I want a bit across the bottom there first is the question. And if so, hop. Maybe, I don't know if I can get away with pink on red. Can I? Can I? Can you pink on red? No. Let's stick with white, I think. That's a nice lump bit there. Let's try that. Blimey, the window is behind, open behind me on the landing. It's awfully chilly coming through. Awfully chilly. I'm going to have to go and shut that in a minute, I think. Either that or I've been sat here too long. All right, let's... Let's go for it. Let's glue, shall we? That is the right way. <laughs> you always have that momentary. Uh, have I put the lace on the right way around? Terrible for him. Right, one. And two. Stay still now, look. There we are. And then we'll pop some on there. Very nice. There we go. Like so. Excellent. And then we want a little bit on here. Excellent. Right, now, where else do we want to have a little bit of lace? Now, we want some small stuff now. So, I've actually got some of this here, which I think would be ideal for these ones. So, let's pop a bit of that on there. Let me just take that straight to the edge. There we are. Now, that's the way. That way round. Wonderful. And then here. Go. And then, last but by no means least, I think we'll pop a little bit on the front of here. Oops. There we go. Or should I pop it on there? Yeah, should I pop it on there? What do you think? I, well, let's do the closure on that first before we get carried away lacing up. Right, so I need to put a little closure on there. I'm looking for we are the brats. What are they doing? Tin of them here somewhere. Is this them? No. Um, no. Um, is this them? Nope, that's owls. I don't want owls. Where's the brats going then? Magical mystery tour in Rachel's tins now. Ah, ta da! Oh, you've got pink ones in there. Oh, gosh, I forgot I had those. Perfect. Right. Ooh, 
Ooh, and actually I've got one with a closure on. That would be handy, wouldn't it? Yes, perfect. Okay, right, let's just make a mark there now. Pencil, where are you? So, in order for that to go there, we need that to go there. Wonderful. And then I'm gonna just use my awl and make a little tiny hole. Move to my operating table. There we go. And then I'm going to put that on. Oh, golly, this is where it gets fiddly. <laughs> oh, my days. Okay. Now I just hope this goes through this little tiny hole. Lovely. Now, let's pop that down there like that and then pop this around. And then, yay, look at that. How cute is that? Ha oh, oh, ha! I love it. I love it. Right. So that's the only bit of bulk now on our um, little envelope thing. Let me just put these back in there. I'll unceremoniously just threw them all on the desk. Well, you know. Hmm, I've got an idea actually. Right, I love that. So let's just have a little look now. We've got a little pocket there for us to pop something in. We've got this now, we can write on here. We've got this one here, we can write on there. We've got this one here. And we can write on B. And if that does get a little bit bulky, that's okay because, well, no. Yeah, we, we can write on there. And then underneath here, then, are our pockets and pockets. And like I say, if you wanted to pop that onto, oh, let's put it on this one, shall we? Being as though this is a writing page. I'm just fold that down like a page. And there we are. If you wanted to pop that, that will fit perfectly actually just on there. Perhaps start down here and then you've got room to flip then, haven't you? Do you know what I mean? And you can open that up and write little notes away there. And then on the journal then it just looks like a really lovely little page decoration. Now, obviously, you can go to town. You can decorate that as much as you like. I don't think it needs too much. Um, and like I say, if you are going to write in it, just be careful of the added bulk because obviously you're going to want to be writing on the outside. But what I absolutely love about this is having this little journal in spot in the middle there. Or you could just pop something in there, couldn't you? But I think that is just absolutely gorgeous. There we go. I hope you enjoyed our little envelope stack, hidden writing spot. Um, have a wonderful day and I will be back with you tomorrow with more. See you soon. Bye now.